Hey folks, this is Chuck Shaduck, the Digital Duck, and I'm here to share with you IFTTT.com. The recipes there are easy. It's a way to automate your world online. So let me share this with you. Simply you go in and sign in. I've already signed in. If not, you just hit sign up and use your email address. I do recommend Gmail. So I'm going to go ahead and click the sign in button and I'll get logged into my account and I'll demonstrate how I use these recipes. And these recipes are just that. And that IFTTT stands for this, then that. So if this happens, that's going to happen. So there's my email and I'll just go ahead on and sign in. And it'll probably take a few seconds here to percolate up. But this is a great, fantastic tool that you can cut your workload down to a little bit of nothing. And you can incur exposure all over the internet. Okay? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead on and go to my recipes right up here at the top. And I'm going to show you how to create a new recipe. Once you get signed in, they have little instructional things on how to do this but it's you have to first choose what recipe you want because we have a, a wide variety of locations that you can choose from like Facebook like a YouTube like Twitter like Tumblr so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you one of my recipes that I already have and as you can see here it says if YouTube then Tumblr that's a Tumblr link all right so new videos that I upload to YouTube are added to my Tumblr blog automatically so over here what you do is I'll click over here and I'll show you how it is written and how I do that then I'm gonna go and show you exactly how to do a brand new recipe okay it looks like and what it says whenever there's a new public video uploaded on my YouTube channel which I will connect uh, and then what's going to happen is going to go ahead and post that video that is uploaded to my Tumblr blog and I can show you my Tumblr blog just by clicking there but that's how a recipe is so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come back to my recipes and I'm gonna create a brand new recipe and I'll show you how to do that this is really fun if you get it, it can be a domino effect, and uh, if you use Facebook yours as your first spot place that you like best, start it there, and then you can add the other ones later if you don't have a Tumblr, if you don't have some of the other ones, because the amount of locations that you can leapfrog to or post your info to is uh, quite a few. I stick to the main dogs, Facebook. Twitter, YouTube, Tumblr, StumbleUpon, Pinterest, Instagram, if you have that. So this is how you create a recipe. Now, to do this, you're going to have to first probably set up your each account. But I believe you do it the same way. So you would click on here. As soon as it stops percolating up here in the top left-hand corner, I'll go ahead and click this. Because it does slow down a little bit when I'm doing video. So you click on that, if this, the blue means it's hyperlinked, you click on that left mouse button one time and it's going to take you to choose a trigger channel. So as you can see, I'm going to scroll down this page here. There are all kinds of channels on here that you can go to and join. Some of them are for home activation of your lights, your AC, your garage, all kinds of different things. But what for instructional purposes I'm going to show you how to do it from my Facebook page and they're in alphabetical order here so as you scroll down you'll see all kinds of them that are here there's blogger uh, let me see some that are familiar there's Craigslist and all these things will interconnect when you do something uh, there's delicious I've used it definitely I use dig every one of them that are on the YouTube channels that you can share to I always join so let's do this so we'll say let's say if Chuck posts to Facebook so we'll click on the Facebook icon and here's my trigger it tells me what's gonna happen you have all kinds of options in here to do but here's what I normally do if I put in a new link post by me I want it to go ahead on and do something 
because normally every post that I do will have a link embedded into it okay so I'm gonna click on that one but you can see you have wide variety of options so it's gonna now it's gonna ask me to go ahead and create that trigger every time a link in a post that I do on my Facebook channel is going to create a trigger so I want to create that then so if a new link on P Facebook is posted then what then what well we're gonna have it do that and what I'm gonna do is, is I'm going to send it to one of my Facebook pages I have many multiple pages but you can also send it to someplace else let's go ahead and let's send it to Twitter so let's scroll down here. Facebook pages, not everybody knows how to do that. I'll be glad to share that with anybody on one of the videos coming up. Okay, so let me just go down here. And let's find the old Twitter. Well, here's even a better one. LinkedIn. If you don't have a LinkedIn account, get one. I mean, that's where everybody is at. LinkedIn is very valuable. So let's go to LinkedIn. Well, what you do is you just highlight, click on it. And what I'm going to do, yeah, I just said, every link, everything I usually post has some kind of link in it or will direct them to somewhere that has a link. Okay? So I'm going to collect, share a link. I'm going to click in there. And it's going to have the link already embedded in it. And it's going to have the message that I just put in on my Facebook already embedded. If there's an image that is related to it, it'll grab that too. So I'm going to go ahead on and say create that action by clicking the blue button down here. Now it says if a post on Facebook with a link is done, it's going to share it on my LinkedIn page. So I'm going to say, okay, good. Create that recipe. Now I've been in the restaurant business for many years. I've been in the food service business for years. So once you get this figured out and you can create these recipes really, really fast. And most people may start from Facebook. I'm a YouTube guy. I like YouTube. So I start a lot of my stuff for YouTube. But here's another one that you can do from Facebook. So as you can see, that's my recipe. And it tells you right in there. And you can see on here, if Chuck puts a new post on his Facebook page, then we're going to share that post automatically for him over to his LinkedIn account all right and this is telling you what it's going to do and it gives you the action right down here so what I'm going to do before I do anything I'm going to check that this thing works you see right here it says check now this is going to validate that the recipe is active and that it is hooked up if it says no it means that you will need to go and go to the channels and make sure that you get that done but when you click on Facebook if it is not connected it will ask you to connect see that recipe was currently running it's got 30 seconds to do all right so let me check it again here it's going to take just a little bit so this has been about eight minutes I don't like to go very much longer because but as you can see it is a matter of where you start and where you can take it from there you can create a domino effect and I suggest look under YouTube videos under the share button it will give you quite a few of the places that you can do it from one location and have these things hit all of those buttons at one time so let me check it again. I'm going to check it now and it'll come back up and it'll say recipe works or come on, let's see what it says. Still checking. I call it percolating. Saying that, I'm going to go ahead and grab a sip. Recipe checked it out. All right. So here's what we can do. We can go to my Facebook page, but what, the, now what you can do then, go to your Facebook page, do a post, and then you'll see it automatically go over to your LinkedIn page and check it out. But this is amazing, folks. I do hope that this helps, folks, uh, that it helps you uh, really use this social platforms that are out there on this Internet highway to your advantage and cut your workload down and be able to get it all done with one click, two clicks, and it's over. So as you can see also when you come to here, these are recipes that everybody shares. So if you can scroll down the page here when you sign up. It'll tell you the different ones. Like there's one that automatically will post your Instagram to you, photos to Tumblr if you use Instagram. If you post to your YouTube, uploads to your Facebook page. All kinds of recipes you can scroll down. There's more recipes here that you can get to. So hey, ladies and gentlemen of the group of the Freedom Project, I do highly suggest you get over to IF. F, excuse me, IFTTT.com. That's if this, then that, and check out this great tool. 
This is Chuck Shaduck saying goodbye for the day. We're about 10 minutes out the way. Have a great day. I'll see you next time. Bye for now.